to talk to you now about the prophecy of the temple. Scripture tells us that in the end times, God's temple will be rebuilt on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem in Israel. Now the Jews will believe this is for them, but really it's for the Antichrist who will come in the end times, the last king of the north, the seventh head of the beast, the counterfeit Jesus to sit and rule the world from Israel. Now for that to happen though, the Dome of the Rock which actually sits on the Temple Mount now, the Muslim, it's a, it's a Muslim holy temple um, and, it's still, and it sits on the Temple Mount right now. So for this to, for God's temple to be rebuilt, they're going to have to remove the Dome of the Rock. Now, there's a, a movie that you really need to see. It's very prophetic. It's got a lot of, it's got, it's about the end times. And it delivers a lot of truth about times that have already been because we are in the times of the, we are going into the times of the tribulation. We are in the end times now. All of the players are more or less here. So we know that we, it'll be in our generation that we'll see this. But in that movie, I Pet Goat 2, it's called. So that's I Pet Goat and then 2. In this movie, um, you see the exact time where you see the Dome of the Rock destroyed by stealth bombers. Obviously, NATO have the stealth um, f uh, fighter jets, so this could be a clue to for you to know that this was planned by NATO, the Satanists, the Illuminati, or you know, NATO, European Union, all part of um, this new world order. And in the movie, you see them drop bombs on the Dome of the Rock and it's destroyed. But, when will this happen? Now, I just want to show you this revelation. Later on in this video, I will actually play it for you and I'll show you exactly where it is. But in the movie, there's a clue. There's a boy and he has in his eyes like a ticker, you know, like, I don't know, like a tra train times or the ticker on the, the stock market. You see like a ticker running across his eyes. It's very quick, but I'll slow it down for you. And going across his eyes, the words um, war coverage. So war coverage meaning news covering war, actual war. You know, the bombing of uh, maybe Damascus, uh, a war breaking out uh, in you know North America, wherever in Israel, for definitely, definitely for sure in Israel or around Israel as well. So there'll be a war, uh, war outbreak coverage, it says on his eyes. Then it also says market collapse. Market collapse. So war outbreak and market collapse. So this is going to be a time where the markets crash and war will be, out, will be outbreaking and it'll be on TV, on the news, uh, all, all the time, I would have thought. But... You know, until them things happen, we won't really know. I mean, after them things happen, uh, you'll know that the Dome of the Rock is about to de be destroyed once you see war outbreak and you see financial collapse. Now, if you want to get really uh, biblical and really do your homework, I'll tell you exactly what, where this is in the Bible. See, when the Lamb takes this scroll with seven seals to add the deeds of the earth, and he, and he opens the seven seals, different events happen during them seals. The first event, when he opens seal one, the Antichrist is crowned and released to conquer the world, it says, yeah? Now here we come to explaining this point. Seal two, when it opens, there's gonna be a war outbreak. So that's one of your signs that the Dome of the Rock. Seal two. And then seal three itself, the Black Horse, is market collapse. So there you have what, what was shown in this movie, in this lad's eyes. Seal 2, war outbreak, red horse. Seal 3, market collapse, black horse. Run across his eyes, and then B2 bombers, boom, and they're gonna blow up the Dome of the Rock. So I'll play this movie for you so you can see it for yourself. Absolutely amazing. So when you see seal number two happen, war outbreak and seal number three happen, you will know 
that the dome of the rock will be removed shortly and I, I've got to say I think it's you know going to be sooner rather than later I'm going to speculate with you now because Jupiter comes into Virgo and makes her pregnant for nine months and then you have the sign complete Revelation 12 in September 2017 uh, and this woman is giving birth now the only th the only way I think someone is going to give birth to the second coming of Jesus when Jesus says you won't see me again until you say blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord and he stood in the temple in the city surrounded by the walls we have the wall we have the city we just haven't got the temple yet God's temple because the dome of the rock is also sitting in its place but this is the whole point the dome of the rock will be removed after after seal 3 has happened for the purpose of God's temple but I, what I'm trying to get at is if, if Jupiter impregnates Virgo it means something like it's a period of time isn't it like birth uh, birth growing pains so I believe this will have something to do with the Jews and Israel and the temple all three of them things I believe I, you know, if I was to speculate with you now, I'd say that December would be the time that the, it was signed on a dotted line and the temple is, begins to be rebuilt. And they can do it in about seven months. And then, Revelation 12, it's complete nine months later. That's just my speculation. And one could say, you know, oh, what if it's false? But you could mark the words. I mean, if the seals start opening, you know, any time now, the seal, seal 1, the Antichrist, seal 2, war outbreak, seal 3, market collapse, and I've looked at the markets myself, and it, they started to drop in September, and they take about a year to go from the crossover period and drop fully down. So, in my view, being a realist and looking at information and data, I would say that the, the crash is going to happen before September this year. You know what I mean? So I believe that up to seal three will actually be complete before even before September. So this could be. So what I'm saying is the dome of the rock could well be destroyed before December, before Jupiter enters Virgo to make her pregnant. And I believe that around December, probably speculation from me, I believe in December it will be signed on the dotted line to rebuild it because the dome of the rock's been destroyed. So very interesting times, but like I say, I speculate, but it's with good reason. Jupiter makes Virgo pregnant, that's got to mean something. And if it's the woman that's going to give birth, that is the Jews and the city and the temple and the wall. The complete package, the woman that gives birth. It says the dragon's wrath with a woman because she gave birth to the second coming. So I believe that the temple will be actually finished by September 2017 where the sign in the heavens, Revelation 12. Uh, and actually in Revelation 11 it says, that's the scripture about the temple, it says come and ri uh, rise up and have a look at the temple and measure it. But do uh, but leave out the outer court because it's given over to the Gentiles. He's seen a temple, it's not a body temple, although there is double meanings in the, uh, the end times. But he's seen a bricks and mortar temple. So it's finished in Revelation 11 and Revelation 12 happens in September. So really, in my view, it's got to, you know, because it's in chronological order, so it's got to be finished by September. And for that, it's got to be built first. So I believe that Jupiter impregnating Virgo in December, nine months early, is actually the building process. So if the Jewish temple is going to, God's temple is going to be started to get rebuilt in December, that means the Dome of the Rock has to be removed before December. If you see, see what I'm getting at with the... Uh, probable reason that's got to happen before that happens for so long a period of time so uh, we'll just have to wait and see but like I say if you see seal 2 war and 3 financial collapse then you know that dome of the rock is it's it's going it's going to be destroyed next so these are the end times we're living in and it's going to happen fast people so always repent of your sins turn away ask for forgiveness for God to God and it will be given to you it doesn't matter what you've done but we are in the end times. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be hard, but it's also going to be great. I mean, how lucky are we to actually serve God in His, in His time where He's going to take back the kingdom of the earth. 
and that is the point of the scroll with seven seals, the deeds of the earth. I've been Pastor Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. Please now share this video and let everyone know. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. Amen.